Space Force was created because of a recognition uh, initially by Congress, but finally shared by the military leadership, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, that the United States simply hadn't been aggressive enough in dealing with threats to assets in space that are crucial to our national defense. And they range from the satellites that detect the launch of missiles by an adversary, which increasingly were vulnerable to attack. Imagine being blinded so you couldn't see that your adversary was attacking. To the, the satellites that uh, f form the network of, uh, of global communications so that the Pentagon can communicate instantly in real time with all of its combatant commands around the world. Those satellites were vulnerable to attack. Your, your ability that to do the most basic thing in, in warfare command and control of your assets was at risk. The global positioning satellites, which are, are as essential for the military uh, as they are for any uh, one of us who goes on a, on a drive and wants to know what the right route is, uh, those were, were vulnerable and, and alternatives had to be devised for them. So I, I think uh, over time it was uh, a widely shared um, view that the Air Force, which had been charged with protecting space as the kind of ultimate frontier, had been so focused on its traditional missions, understandably. Most uh, senior Air Force leaders uh, tend to come up having been fighter pilots, having uh, made their bones in the traditional Air Force way. They, they, they were uh, more focused on those traditional missions than on ones involving space, so that a, a dedicated space force that worried about that uh, uh, was was uh, in the country's interest. Uh, I, I would add, part of the uh, wake-up call, if you will, that led to the creation of the Space Force was a recognition of how aggressive our adversaries, especially China, to a, to a lesser extent Russia, had been in developing anti-satellite weapons and systems. Uh, I mean both ground-based uh, weapons that can blind satellites from the ground, that can, can, can disable uh, the satellites that uh, do surveillance and reconnaissance, or, or space-borne uh, weapon systems that can, uh, from space, uh, attack uh, American satellites can um, send um, cyber uh, hacking that disables the satellites, uh, uh, in some cases, that can uh, lead them to send incorrect information back to Earth. So uh, this uh, recognition of the capabilities of our adversaries was part of the decision that the U.S. has to do more and better. The Space Force is, is going to have the problems of any new service. Uh, it's going to depend on the Air Force for a lot of its uh, logistical backup. Um, and it's going to be hard, I think, initially to recruit people into the Space Force. But there's no question that um, it's not possible today to think about uh, defense and national security without thinking, in a sense, thinking first about the vulnerability of our assets in space, which are essential uh, to our ability to fight war and to our adversaries, even to know what's coming at us.